Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Guild of Dark Steel. This game was released on July 15th, 2021. I'm playing this before it comes out, so I can't actually see the price just yet. And it's developed by Igor Sandman and published by Digerati. This is a story-driven adventure game set in a rich, dark fantasy world. As the immortal Sellsword, you must unearth an evil plot brewing beneath the city of Ravenrock. Only you can discover the true horror lurking under the city's surface. Uh, as you can see at the bottom, it is a story-based game, so um, good thing I'm only playing the first 20 or so minutes. That's kind of another reason I do like the, the first impressions style videos, is I don't spoil things, I just spoil the, the very start of the game, pretty much. Um, no options, unfortunately, like these, these are the options, um, so hopefully we don't need to change anything. Let's uh, check out Guild of Darksteel. It looks very like, it's, it's got like a, I guess like kingdoms, kingdom new lands aesthetic kind of thing. This is me. Oh, we can save. Good. Good start. I like that. Greeting stranger. Good. Good text speed. It's got to be said, usually these games like fucking crawl along with their text speed. <laughs> Go into Raven Rock. Don't be fooled by the pretty view. It's a dark and ugly place. Ironic that the last haven for you Knights of Dark Steel is so gloomy. Haha. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I imagine that was his, his voice. This outpost is locked. Maybe somebody who was stationed here could still have the key. Hello? Okay, he doesn't. I kill. I kill him for it. You old man. I was a proud guard once, before all this mess. Yes, the watch is no longer what it used to be. Neither is this, is this outpost. Used to stand strong against the enemy, first rampart of the city. Now it's but a pile of hollow stones. I used to work down there, so I know. Today I like to sit here and listen to the whispers from days of old. Okay, you do you, old man. City of Ravenrock lies ahead. Let's go. Oh. The only god the apostates of Ravenrock bow their head to is gold. Such is the course of things, my son. You might as well play along and find a steady income of pierced coins. They change hands fast. Especially with those lost two souls at the gate. So we have to bribe them to let me in? City of Ravenrock is a true marvel. I've run out of voices, sorry. A sight to behold. Afraid you can't enter if you don't have a pass, though. But rejoice, I have a solution to your predicament. For mere 50 pierced coins, I can get you a city pass. Don't tell anyone, though. This must stay between us. Okay. How do I... How do I get money? I need to reach the Guild of Darksteel. I need a good meal and a long night's sleep move. Okay. Oh, that's as far as we can go. Okay. There's gotta be something we can do. Ah, you talked to that shameless crook. I forgot his voice. I wasn't expecting to come back to them. I shouldn't encourage her mischief, but maybe you and I can help each other. I'll give you the coins you need to pay that scoundrel so you get into town. In return, I'd like you to go down in the outpost and find my father. Holy shit. How old- Wait, are you not actually- He looks pretty old. I dread to think what his father's voice would be like if we get there. Ah yes, my father. Oh, the look on your face. A Knight of Darksteel. Yes, you of all people would know, of course. I'm old and tired, yet my father still walks the earth. He's an immortal just like you, bound to life by his armor of dark steel. He served under King Aldric. He's one of the first. Yes, and eternity has taken a toll on his mental sanity. I haven't seen him in a while. I'd like you to find him. Don't mention me. Please simply make sure he's still human. Where can I find him? Most likely in this outpost. Used to be a trainer here. You can use this to enter. I received the outpost key. Okay, great. So we go in here, find this old man's old dad, uh, and then we can go to Ravenrock. The derelict outpost. Sick. Go. I think I just push up. Yeah. I don't know how to fight yet. Is this is this death down here? I'm sure it's fine. A key. I mean, kind of silly of me to just expect that randomly there would be enemies in here. Like, obviously, like. It's just a just an outpost, just a derelict outpost, you know. Go. See, this all looks fine. Hello. My name's Lancelin, like you, I'm a knight of dark steel. Since the time of King Aldric, I've been training my immortal brothers, passing down the values of our order. Our values, and what would those be? Honor, respect. I to teach how to fight. Do you want to learn? You know your foe will either attack you or protect themselves. But did you know if you look closely, you can read their tells. When they strike, make sure you block, otherwise you'll get injured. 
If they don't kill you, they'll wear you down and eventually you shall perish. Well, us Knights of Dark still don't really die, but still. Why don't you show me how you parry? Okay. On guard! How do I... How do I block? Uh... How do I block? Oh, A. A! Do I just really have to time it? There we go. Yeah, got it. Nice. A. Uh, yeah, we could probably do with rebindable controls, I think. Okay, sweet. We can attack now with X. Oh, but you can only attack when you're in battle mode, it looks like. That's, that's interesting. Like, now I don't have to accidentally kill that man. Battle mode. That's kind of weird. It, like... Whoa. What the fuck? Oh, I think I, I learned a new combo, I think. Cool. Uh, I wonder why that is. I don't like that at all. Why isn't it just seamless? That's very strange. Like, it repositions me. Yeah, in interesting design choice. Uh, personally, not a fan of that. I'd rather just be able to, like, go into it whenever I want. Oh, I can't even, like, walk away from him. I can't, I can't actually move. We did it. Got a new combo. Great. Can I grab his sword? I'm not moving him now. <gasps> that thing's alive. Oh. Secret. Oh, shit. Look at this fella. And the, this also fella? Where's Arnold? I thought you said we could trust him. Usually he's already here by the time we arrive. Well, he's not here, is he? Find him. What are you waiting for? wonder if he's my first boss fight. Don't look at me. Don't look here. Is Arnold the guy that's murdered? Hey, Arnold's dead as fuck. Oh, you there. Hello. He's not actually a boss fight. I can't really... I don't really have time to, like... Oh! Build up a combo. I was doing okay there. <laughs> He just one-shot me. Who was that? Seemed like a knight of Darksteel, and he knows too much. I should go get him. Don't bother. Let us post -po postpone the meeting. You're wasting my time. I'll find a replacement for Ernold. I'm back. Who were those people? I better talk to the old man to make my way to town. Fuck. We need this guy's voice again. <laughs> Disaster. You found my father. Uh, his voice is very different now. I knew he was all right. He can't die, can he? I'm more worried about his soul than his body, though. Living forever cannot be good. Ah, oh, I'm rambling. Here the promised coins for your trouble. Got him. Thanks, old man. I'm off to Raven Thorn or Thorpe or whatever. Wonderful. Let me relieve you of those coins and Raven Rock is yours to take. Thanks. Here's your pass, lad. Show it to my colleague at the gate. Here you go, buddy. A little bit like blasphemous -y vibes, kind of. This looks like a pass, all right. Do you pay my... I mean, enjoy your stay in Raven Rock. Thanks. See ya. Oh, yeah. Big, big blasphemous vibes here. Holy crap. What are you doing up there? I'm dying. Go away. Aren't you too young to die? Come down, kid. What's the point? Nobody cares about me now, my, now that my parents are gone. Well, I'm asking you to reconsider, so someone must care. What's your name? Grisandre. Why don't you tell me what happened, Grisander? Grisandre? The giant? Thieves killed my mom to force my dad and given him all his coins. And they tossed him off the bridge. Why not me? Why did they let me live? You should be glad you lived. To what avail? Except to find them and take their lives? You're a mercenary from the Guild of Immortals. How much to kill them? You don't have that kind of money. Well, neither do you, buddy. <laughs> you should be happy with anything. Can I pay you later when I find a way to earn it? Listen, Grisandre, you don't want to go down that path. If all you can think of is revenge, you'll never grieve. What do you think your parents would want for you? A life of hatred? Please go. I want to stay with my mom for a moment. Goodbye. The poor woman got her throat slit from side to side. Not a pretty sight. Poor kid. She's got very good balance up there. God, I... I, I've just, like, before this video, I recorded a, a really long voiceover thing so my, my my voice is already like kinda scratchy and, and dying a little bit and so like 
I had two games to choose from to record. And I was like, yeah, Guild of Darksteel looks good. It looks like it's, you know, mostly just combat and stuff. It turns out there's a lot of dialogue to read, so, uh, <laughs> need a break from a voice. All right, who's this person? I've always been curious about the guild and its Knights of Darksteel. How can one be immortal? It means you don't have a wife or children. And what does the guild pay immortals for? I find it creepy if you ask me. Okay. Oh, okay, so this this is actually the guild. Like, we're in the guild right away. Uh, and this person here gives out assignments. So she's going to give us, like, a tutorial assignment, I think. From Hilda, one of our members is having trouble with her own job. Go talk to her and give her a hand. Now, back behind the guild. Okay. Thank you. You Fram Hilda? Oh, we can save. Heldegard sent you, finally. An old lady came to the guild the other day. A man broke into her home while she was at the market. He ransacked the place. Until he found something of value, a gilded casket. The lady said it only has emotional value. Right, they always say that. I tracked the thief to the cavern of Rhyme. Bandon's hide there. But I can't seem to retrieve the casket. I tried to talk, but the gentleman negotiates with his blade. Every time I go there, I wake up at the guild starting at the, staring at the pilgrim statue. Can you assist me? Maybe you can kill the bastard. I can try. Maybe in the Cavern of Rhyme. Access the caves through the cellar below the guild. Okay. Take the door behind the counter you'll find that. Very good instructions, honestly. <laughs> so let's... We'll do another save. Just so we don't have to dialogue again. We go through here. And we should... Oh, we're in the Cavern of Rhyme already. Yeah, very, very blasphemy. Blasphemous E, I guess. Hi there, name's Emmerich from the city of Cambria. Been sent by the Cambrian Military Council. I am to investigate the brigands dwelling in the cavern. Why they're here, how they're organized, there are so many of them. The council is worried they're plotting something. Quite frankly, I doubt they're any threat. Oh, okay. Is there a secret? Nope. You never know. Seems like one of those kinds of games, you know. Our first enemy, perhaps? Nope. It's gotta be a secret up here. There's gotta be. Here we go. Here we go. Damn it. Why are there no secrets here? Okay, this down here is, ah. That's where the brigands are. So we're just starting with the bats. They're okay. Battle mode, get it? Because it's a bat. Ow. Fucking bat. Oh, I don't know what that, that blue stuff is, but I'm getting it. Oh, I can counter a bat. It's kind of like Sekiro. You kind of have to like learn each enemy's attack pattern, kind of. I can level up a combo. <laughs> what is what is the combo for just mashing X? Because that's all I'm doing. <laughs> do I need to do anything with this lamp? No. I do not. Are these actual bandits now? Oh no, that's that's the person we're meeting. That's the person we're helping. Hildegard or Broomhilda or whatever. Hello. There you are, the scoundrel's up there. Go kill him. Don't forget to bring the casket. Oh, okay, this seems like quite an easy tutorial task. Hello. You've something that doesn't belong to you. I have a lot of things that don't belong to me. A gilded casket. What about it? I've been sent to take it back to its owner. Is that so? Look, I know what you are. I know if I kill you, come back. But others have tried, and guess what? I'm still here. I'm not the others. Your life is worth more than the casket. Ha! Huh, this is what I do for a living. I can die for this casket, or I can starve to death. What difference does it make? Don't. Show me your strength, immortal! Okay. Wham. Why can't I do any of my combos? I have no idea. Like, why doesn't do anything? But I'm pretty good at parrying and stuff, so that was fine. <laughs> I found a casket. Hey, I got it. Why didn't you come up and help? You did it! Wah! You did it. You're a pretty skilled swordsman, aren't you? Yeah. You got the casket. Gave the casket to From Hilda. Thanks, I wonder what's inside. I bet the lady lied. Did I open and check it out? She'll never know. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Oh, come on, aren't you curious? Ah, forget it. Meet me back in town. Okay. See you back in town. I could keep going. In this dungeon, I think. Uh, but so far, my um, my exploration hasn't been uh, like rewarded. I'm not really seeing the tell when these bats are attacking. You know. Okay, we're back. 
Wait, no, I've already done it. What the fuck? Uh, maybe I had to talk to her in the cave a second time? I'll try. That's kind of weird. Because <laughs> she, like she said, I'll meet you back in town. So I just thought I could ignore where she was like in the tents area. Uh, which really you should be able to. <laughs> Because obviously, like, the character isn't moving around, like, she, I, she's just, like, cloned many times. Uh, hello. So about the casket, I opened it. Guess what I found? A hundred pierced coins. You shouldn't have, it belongs to the client. Don't be such a downer. Hundred coins, that's fifty each. You won't get much more at the guild, you know. Take your share, spend it wisely. Thanks. Let's go back to the guild, like, nothing happened, okay? Uh, I bet we get kicked out. <laughs> you did good, sell sword, you should report to Heldegard now. And everything is normal. Okay. Let's see if this backfires. From Hilda brought me the casket. She said it all went well. Congratulations on your first successful mission. Anything to report? Hmm, it's a bit embarrassing. I don't know how to say it. Say it, what is it? We were curious and we opened the casket. You what now? That's not all. We found some coins and took them. I must say I'm satisfied. Huh? It was a test, cell sword. This was all a setup. I know you must feel cheated, but we have to do this. You've no idea what kind of people come through here. From Hilda was asked to tempt you, so we could judge your character. Don't blame her, she's just doing her job. You can keep your share of your little deal with her. It's your payment for your first job. I'll deal with the client. Welcome to the Guild of Darksteel, Sellsword. Come to me when you're ready for your next assignment. Well, that's kind of neat. That's kind of cool, yeah. So I guess, yeah, we just uh, talk to her to get more assignments afterwards. All right, that was, that was a look at Guild of Darksteel. Um, I like the world, the soundtrack's quite nice, uh, I like the graphics, like it's it's kind of like a, a slightly more pixely blasphemous, pretty much. Uh, like I said, I, I don't like the combat system. Um, it really is, like the, the, the combat is like Sekiro, except you're not allowed to move. I, I, I do wish it was more free-flowing like uh, blasphemous, but I, I, I see what like approach they're going for with this, like kind of like Sekiro. So yeah, the, the combat will not be for everyone. Um, yeah, it, it's not super for me. I, I would prefer more free-flowing, but that's just me. Anyway, that was the Guild of Darksteel. Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!